Here it is. No. <laughs> I'm just been I've been just waiting <laughs> to new, and then right. now it's time to new. <laughs> well, we have a couple news. Okay. Uh, okay. Let's, let's jump right in. Jump in to yeah. the new. Uh, okay. So we first up, we have a panel mount micro USB cable. So can you go to the third photo? Because that's actually the. But, uh, yeah, so it's a panel mount cable, but it's micro USB to micro USB. We had one that was micro USB to like printer A type, but like that's actually not as handy because most things are micro USB these days. So this is basically like a one foot extension cord, a very not great extension cord, or better yet, it's panel mountable. So you can use this to um, secure to an enclosure so you can have like a Raspberry Pi or your Feather or whatever, your Arduino Zero, and you can have it. Um, connectable from outside the box without having to butt it up right against the edge of the box. So very handy. And um, people demanded this, and so we got some. Okay. Moving right along. Okay. So the next set of products are actually kind of related. Um, so we have passive PoE cables that basically just take power and splice them onto the unused four wires of an Ethernet cable. But uh, for a lot of people, they actually have true PoE routers. So these are routers that put 48 volts on. Like you negotiate with them, they put 48 volts on those pins, and um, it's like an off-the-shelf formal support. So like 802.3AF, uh, I think, is the standard. So if you do have one of those routers, um, can you go to the overhead because it'll show off what they look like? And I got one here. Whoa. So this is like a router that's a PoE router and you can see here it says you know you plug in 48 volts so it's powered by 48 volts and then this one um, has four PoE ports and then four non-PoE ports and so it can provide power over Ethernet and what's nice about that is then you have a single cable that goes to your device and um, you know the cable can be 100 feet long and then this actually splits it off into uh, this gives you 12 volts at one amp, and so you can actually use this to power your electronics. It can be anything, really. But what's nice about this is it's true power over Ethernet, not like kind of fake power ether over Ethernet. So if you have PoE routers, this is what you want to use. If you don't have a PoE router, check out the passive PoE splitter we have, which is honestly good enough for most uses. Um, but this is great for, again, when you have the router itself. And so we have another version, too. So this one is um, it just splits it from uh, Ethernet plus PoE into data, and then it gives you that nice uh, 12 volt, one amp plug. So that's really cool. So this is a very simple one. Working on getting a five volt one, but the, the first ones we got were 12 volts. And then, can you skip ahead? Yeah. So next up. Um, okay, so the second version we have is a little bit more advanced. Uh, this one, you can select a five, nine, or 12 volts. Um, output, so it has a, a switcher that's more uh, extreme, I guess, uh, or more extreme flexible. Extreme switching. Extreme switching. So you switch on the side. Also comes with these little like pluggy plugs, so you can select if you want 2.1 millimeter or 2.5 millimeter. But same theory, it works with a true PoE um, oh, yeah. router, and then you would give, put the power and data in here, and then you can select five volts or. 9 volts or 12 volts, and that will power your device. You can be more flexible with this. This is good for almost everything, but it's a little bit more expensive. It's still, you know, handy if you, again, you have that IEEE 8023 uh, AF. So pretty cool, pretty handy, and uh, good for those, those people who are building Ethernet-powered sensor networks, and then you don't have to have PoE support on your device, because, like, this Ethernet shield doesn't have native PoE, and I'll say the cost to add it here would be about the same as just having this plug, so there you go. About okay. 10 bucks more, and you're golden. All right, next up, LEDs. Yep, we have uh, some 10 millimeter diffused LEDs. This is uh, by request. We had every other color. I don't have anything against yellow. I just never really cared too much for it, but these they are. Um, they are beautiful, they glow. Check them out if you need. Yellow LEDs sell them in a pack of, I think, 25. Ooh, and they're diffused, so they, they glow nicely. Okay. I like this photo better. I know. All right, next up. Well, it's against the black back. How can I compete with that? You cannot compete with that. I cannot compete with that. Okay. 
What's this? Uh, this is, oh, the name of this is the boost stick. So this boost stick is kind of a neat idea. What I like about it is its simplicity. You put a AA battery in, you plug it into a breadboard, and you're pretty much good to go. It's like so, making any breadboard a powered breadboard. Yeah, and basically you just reverse power so you know, this Arduino's running, and it's powered from the breadboard, so I can show. Wow. I feel like these demonstrations and products are connected. Yes, they are. All right. Oh, can, I, can you go to the overhead? Yeah. OK, so this is said boost stick and um, you can select five volts or three volts I think but I like five volt power so I have it with the jumper in place there's a little LED to let you know and then all you do is you just power you plug this in so this V plus goes here and this goes here and unless I got it backwards hold on there you go I got it backwards so you go like this and then, wow, your LED is lit. Oh, you know what? The LED is backwards. So that's why. I want to make it match up. Yeah. OK. So yeah, what's nice about this, what I like is that it's just very simple. You just put the AA in, and you're ready to go. So this can be a nice, you know, you toss it in, you use nickel metal hydride or alkaline batteries. Either will work. And it just plugs right in. It's just so simple. And uh, I like that simplicity. OK. All right, next up, um, the Teensies. Ooh, yeah. So we've got um, both of the Teensies. Very exciting. Uh, this is uh, Paul Stafferton just finished up his Kickstarter. So uh, we ordered some of these, you know, because he's he always makes such awesome hardware. And so if you like the Teensy 3.2, you're gonna love the Teensy 3.5 and 3.6. These use uh, two BGA Freescale processors. Uh, they're like I think they're Cortex M4 Fs still but they have i think they want 180 megahertz or so extremely fast chips with tons of flash tons of ram uh the 3.6 i believe is 5 volt compliant for uh pin input so if you want to use it with 5 volt logic which is a little bit weird but you never know you can put 5 volt logic into them um, i think the 3.6 also has an ethernet phi um, but I can't quite remember. Check the product page because one's called 3.5, one's called 3.6. So I can't remember which is which. Um, but they're very advanced, uh, but they're still extremely skinny. They both have micro SD slots on them. And um, they're, they're supported by TNC Duino. And they're very, very powerful. And so, you know, when you need even more capabilities than the TNC 3.2, I think this is going to be an interesting <coughs> upgrade for people. And um, can you go back? This is the, the routing on this is amazing. So these, these BGA processors, no, go back one. Yeah. So this is these, these use BGA processors. I believe it's a four-layer board, or it could be a six-layer board. And he said he was visiting here for Maker Faire. He said he spent weeks working on getting the escaping out um, to fit a, a, a 144-pin or whatever pin BGA on just such a skinny little board and, and break out it into a breadboard-friendly. Uh, stick is pretty amazing. So check this out. Um, but you know, Paul Stafford always does such a good job with support and updates and having cool projects that I think that having one of each, there's going to be projects that are come out that you want to want to build. So pretty handy. Okay. All right. Uh, next up, let's keep moving. We got the Pi starter pack. Yeah, they actually put this in just after two weeks ago, but we never got to it. So this yeah. is the official Raspberry Pi. Uh, starter kit, we got this nice GIF. It's basically everything you need to get started. It comes with a Raspberry Pi 3, uh, the official Raspberry Pi case, which is, is so cute and adorable, um, a universal power supply, so it works anywhere in the world. Uh, comes with a, a gig, 8 gig noobs card. Uh, comes with a keyboard, comes with a mouse, uh, both of which are beautiful and like white, and I think even have the little Raspberry Pi logo. And then you even get uh, Carrie Ann's book on how to get started with a Raspberry Pi. So it's really, all you need is, I think it comes with HDMI cable, so you just need an HDMI monitor or TV, and you're pretty much ready to get started with a Raspberry Pi. You even got the book to take you through um, a bunch of uh, experiences and steps, getting started playing games, writing code, using Sonic Pi. So this is kind of, uh, it's kind of nice. It's very premium. It's very good for gift giving. So I think this is good timing for them. Okay. And then um, we have lots of stuff going on this week, uh, but a little bit of history. So you're gonna um, take us back in time. A little bit of back in time. So uh, we have really talented people that work at Adafruit. It's just part of our DNA. Uh, lots, lots of artists, lots of 
um, musicians, lots of engineers, lots of photographers, lots of videographers. Everything that the team, I think, touches is artistic. So whatever it is they're doing. You can't help it. Yeah, whatever it is they're doing, um, you know whatever their hobbies is or whatever their other things that they work on are equally as interesting. So um, the first album that Adafruit helped get out was uh, the music that you hear usually in the beginning of the shows that's from Bartle Beach. So we did a, a album called Frequency and it was a pink vinyl album and it was our um, first dipping of toes into competing with Apple. Right. They have, Apple has iTunes and, and millions well, of albums. We've got records. Well, we've got two now. So uh, we're pleased to announce, uh, starting today, that we're going to be shipping um, in partnership with Infinity Shred not only an album of theirs, but a special edition, a blue Ooh. vinyl one, and then also a kit, a synth yeah. kit. Okay. So um, this is the second album. Watch out, Tim Cook coming after you we are, we're getting there we've, we've, we've increased we've, our albums by 300 percent 200 percent we've cornered the brooklyn-based electronic music scene that does albums that work at adafruit yep well i mean we still have colorful well too. we don't have all the market share for that. but we're, we're, getting getting we're getting close we're getting close so um anyways um uh, joking aside uh it, it is a neat way for the people who work here who have um something that they're really passionate about to even uh, have a yet another outlet for that. Mm -hmm. So we do really good shipping, and we can do lots of things to help get the word out. So this is the the album. Um, if you like electronic-y, gothy music, you're gonna like this. Um, yeah. It's called Long Distance Infinity Shred, and this is the album Black Vinyl. Look at that. And then there. It can't get any more blacker. <laughs> and then there's a, a limited edition Adafruit one with. Uh, blue um, we have a special section on our site there'll be a quiz later but it's uh adafruit.com <laughs> slash infinity shred i'm not kidding yeah and then we also have a, a synth kit that you can purchase along with it and you'll uh, be able to hear some of that in just a few moments. yeah this is based off of the the shruti one which is uh an open source synthesizer and this is a, a version that infinity shred they they kitted themselves they documented how to build it and um, it's a pretty cool kit. We have a couple of them. It's very limited edition. Mm -hmm. uh, once they're gone, they're gone. But it's a really, it's a really great synth. It's a really fun kit to build. Uh, this is like the, our second synthesizer kit. So yeah, and uh, I have uh, Periscope going on right now, but I'm also going to try to um, uh, show via this camera uh -huh. over here too. Okay. Um, some of the the sounds of yeah. this. Do you want me to? Play? Yeah. Yeah. I, I have no knowledge of how to play. You just need to make electronics. You don't have to um, be a musician. Okay. No, that's definitely not my skill. Yeah. The, you just keep making electronics. Okay, it's your job. Okay. It's good. Okay, all good? Yeah. And all so right. when you start to play... So this, uh, yeah, so the synthesizer we have, um, we're using, a, a, it has a MIDI input, so it's got a little MIDI keyboard, a micro keyboard plugged in and then the audio is coming right out. I've yeah. got this really cool iridescent. So um, we wanted to set it up so um, the, the wire pad or the YouTube and the switch hook so you can hear that. You can yeah. hear it here. And then if you go through these. Yeah. So that's uh, Lady Ada playing it right now. And, Very badly. Um, so you get those like 15 patches, I think, and then yeah. um, knobs, and then there's a really great LCD that gives you details on like, all your settings. Yeah. I actually really like the little uh, note that appears when you do English. I think it was Yeah. Okay. All right. So that's the the live demo of all this. Yeah. So, so, so you can listen to what it sounds like. And it's like. got the same patches that they're using on the album. So you can cosplay as your favorite Infinity Shred musician. Yeah. And it comes so. as a kit, but it's a it's a fun kit. Uh, I just need some full soldering um, experience. I think it, it could probably be a, a beginner kit or maybe your second kit. Maybe like start with a, a TV gone or a Minty Boost just so you, you know how to solder a little bit. And then um, there's two boards, an audio board and a control board. And uh, we have the tutorial up on the learning system. 
Yeah. And uh, yeah. Okay. So we're back into the synth game. Yeah, we're back. So that is uh, new product slide data. Wow. You did it. Yay!